Hello everyone. For now, we will discuss about dependent and independent variable. On how will we derive to the value of our dependent variable with the use of our input data, which is our independent variable. Dependent variable, it can control the dependent variable. Meaning, independent variable is the variable that you are changing or you are manipulating or you are changing the values. Because of that independent variable, uh, the dependent variable is having also a value. The dependent variable is dependent to independent, meaning, meaning that is our independent variable. Because of x, y has a new value also. Meaning, if you change the value of x, the value of y varies also. A few moments later. So if this is our function, 2x raised to 2 plus y is equal to 0. Okay, our independent variable is x, meaning we will give a value for x because we can manipulate x. That is independent variable. Okay, so mostly we are using negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, consecutive number, consecutive five number at the middle of our number line or of our integers. Okay, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Now, because of this independent variable, we can change x as negative 2, we can change x as negative 1, we can change x as 0. Okay, as it changes, our dependent variable, which is y, changes also. Dependent y or y is dependent to x. But x is independent. We can change it anytime as we like. But we cannot change y as we like because y is dependent to x. A few moments later. So for example, find the value of y if the value of x is negative 7. Okay, you just substitute the value of x to x here. Meaning 2 times the value of x which is negative 7 raised to the power of 2 plus y is equal to 3. Now, there is already one variable left. What is x? It was substituted by a value which is negative 7. So we can now solve for the value of y. Because you cannot find x there already. How will you do it? Okay, you apply PEMDAS. Don't forget your PEMDAS. 2 times x raised to the power of 2. Meaning, parenthesis lang kasi yung ginamit ko dito. Okay, what if I use times? 2 times negative 7 raised to the power of 2. Of two. This x is this negative 7. Negative 7 raised to the power of 2, you get it first. It is 2 times 9 plus, okay, bring down y, equal to 3. 49 times 2, 8. Plus y is equal to 3. Okay, next. Actually, class, yes, but I agree with that one because me also, when I am in my year levels before, I I am fan of using also transpose, transpose, okay? <clears throat> but class, listen, in mathematics, there is no word or there is no term as transpose. It's, it is correct. You transpose 98 to the other side. Okay. Transpose, we use transpose for the student and also for the teacher. For me, for easier explanation. For the student, easier to understand. That is why we use transpose. But trivia plus notes. There is no term or word in mathematics that is transpose. No transpose. Okay. We just use that transpose so that for a better explanation, for easier explanation. Here is the addition property of equality. 
what you add to the left side or what you do to the left side, you must do it also to the right side. APE, addition property of equality. Okay, for example, we have this one. 98 plus Y is equal to 3. Okay, APE, addition property. Our purpose or our mission plus is to cancel 98. Okay, so what will you do? Okay, because it is addition property, what will you add to 98 so that it will be cancelled? 98. Okay, meaning if you add negative 98 in the left side, you do it also in right side. Okay, so negative, oh sorry, add negative 98. Okay, plus 98, you cancel it already because zero, the answer is zero. Remaining y is equal to 3 plus 3 plus negative 98 is negative 95. That is the process, class. It is the explanation. Maybe when you are in your higher level soon, that your teacher in math or any will ask you, or your instructor in math will ask you, okay, how will you solve that one? Please explain. And if you go there and you will explain like this one, you transpose 98 to the other side and then change the sign to make it addition. If you do that, um, your instructor will say, yes, you are correct, but kindly elaborate. What is the process? If your instructor asks that, how is it done? What? You just transpose or you just transfer and then that's it. What is the process? Maybe your instructor will ask that and then you explain this to your instructor, okay? Actually, this is the explanation. APE, addition property of equality. Okay, if you do something in the left side, you do it also in the right side. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe.